What is up guys, Aster here. I know I haven't uploaded in a while. This isn't an update video though. You can probably tell by the uh, the title. This is a uh, video for the uh, the Grand Overseas Tournament. I was about to say global again. I've made that mistake so many times, but it's the Grand Overseas Tournament, the GOT. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who signed up, the 128 people and our backups, because we still have drafts going. And uh, it's all thanks to our backups, the fact that we had backups in the tournament uh, ready to go. That was fantastic. So thank you to all of you. Uh, this is something for you guys, and this is something also for all of my viewers, because I'm going to be going into detail a, a little bit as how I did this. But uh, basically what this is, is I'm revealing the GOT thumbnail to you guys. The, global, the uh, Grand Overseas, I was going to do it again. The Grand Overseas Tournament thumbnail for the battles. Uh, those will be going up uh, for anybody that wants to upload uh, onto their own channel. Uh, as well as the GOT channel. There's a new GOT channel. If you guys, it's going to be the tournament channel. Basically, what we're going to do is have uh, power rankings on there for all four conferences. We're dividing everybody up in, into four conferences of 32 players each. And then each conference is then further divided into eight groups of four teams each. And those face off against each other for five weeks. And um, we're going to be having power rankings for the 16 teams uh, within the conference. And then also we are going to uh, 16 out of 32 of each conference. And then we're also going to have uh, returning coach interviews. And we're going to be doing some live battles. Basically uh, battles that we deem worthy of uh, covering live. We're going to ask the players to notify us of when they are playing. And we are going to try to cover their games live and upload them for you guys. I have a great team of administrators uh, to help me out with all of this. I'm not going to be doing this on my own, but I want to run a really good tournament channel. Uh, this is going to be awesome. So uh, if you guys want to go subscribe to that channel, it's currently sitting at 22 subscribers. Go and check it out. Uh, the content from there is going to be fantastic. Simply fantastic, as Greg would say. And uh, we are going to... Uh, be uploading on there pretty regularly so if you want to catch all of the tournament action as much as you can without having to go and subscribe to each individual person if you want to that's great uh, but if you want to catch some important highlights from the tournament itself then definitely go subscribe to that channel again i'll leave the link in the description so coming back to what i was saying uh, we are going to be going over what I came up with as uh, an idea for the thumbnail for the GOT this season. I wanted something a little bit different than last season. Last season's was cool, and you guys see it on your screen right now. Um, it, it was pretty solid, I, I would have to say. And I largely based it off of a past GBA, Global Battle Association's thumbnail. And I wanted to kind of do the same thing. I wanted to, to, to roll with the same idea of drawing inspiration from their thumbnails because Ezek is an amazing artist. I've had the privilege of being able to talk to him uh, during this season in, in the GBA before he left. And he's actually been designing stuff for us uh, in a different league that we'll be announcing later. But um, yeah, so it, it's I really, really like his thumbnails and I really wanted to base this season's off of his thumbnails. So this is the thumbnail. Uh, this is actually week 10, guys. If you didn't catch this game, go and check it out. But... Um, this was the thumbnail that was used for Crimson Seabad versus MV in the GBA uh, this last week, uh, week 10. And uh, I, I have access to the actual uh, Photoshop documents themselves, so I opened it up and uh, this is what you see. So you have a logo on either side, you have a versus in the middle, you have score lines, and you have uh, these rounding shapes at the top left and uh, bottom right of the thumbnail, as well as the GBA logo that kind of pops out of nowhere and it's just floating there on the top right, and a uh, placeholder on the bottom left for what week they're in. Now, something that I noticed about the, uh, this thumbnail, the one error with it is that the week 10 uh, and the placeholder for it was not made in consequence to when <laughs> this would switch over from a single digit to a double digit, and I'm only noticing this now. So I wanted to fix that when I made mine, uh, and there's no real way to fix it because it's coming out of the side. It's very, very difficult to do, and I understand Ezek's trouble with it. So let's uh, let's take a look at what I came up with. So right here we have a blank screen. Let me just get rid of this guide in the middle uh, for you guys. And uh, so we have a blank screen, but you guys can see here on the right side, on the bottom right, that we have all our all of our layer, layers already done. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys one by one, step by step, what I did. So the first thing I did was that placeholder for the uh, for the game week. So I made it with a gradient. 
and I put a little bit of bevel behind it. You guys are going to see the bevel once we actually have the background behind there. But I made it a lot longer than EZX as you can see. And a lot more angular because I like angular shapes. So um, this is a big enough placeholder, I think, to hold what we have here, which is game one. I also have an inner bevel over here, which makes it look like it's uh, embedded within the uh, the structure of the placeholder, which is really cool. So, um, so this is what I have now. The problem with this text, once again, just as as Ezek's problem was, it was is as soon as we go to round of 64, as you guys can see, it cuts off completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create separate thumbnails. One for the weeks, so from uh, game one to game five, whatever it is, we can have it there. That's not a problem. It's not going to take up too much space. Uh, and then I'm going to make a separate PSD for you guys to download for the round of 64, round of 32, um, round of 16, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. So uh, you guys are going to have multiple Photoshop documents that you can download. For me, I'm going to be supplying them to you. Uh, so that you can use them and I'm going to be adjusting the font size in consequence to which text I need in that placeholder. So for right now, this is what we're going to be using for the first five weeks. I think it's fairly fine. It's good enough and it looks really good. So the next thing that I wanted to work on was the uh, the middle section of the thumbnail. As you guys can see, there's this versus over here, which is really large. These uh, score lines and uh, the coach's logos. So I decided... I'm actually not going to include the score lines because it's a, turn a tournament format and it changes a lot as time goes on. Uh, and last season we actually had a problem with that because uh, if you wanted to put the score lines in, and this happened in the NPL Miners Tryouts tournament as well, uh, if people aren't having their matches on the same weeks, which this time they are, but if they're not, then you have different score lines. And not everybody, like let's say one person is 1-0 and the other person can already be 0-2. So... Uh, that was something that I didn't want to include because it's not as linear as it seems. So I decided to go with the uh, the verses was the first thing I worked on. And uh, I ended up stroking it with black, keeping it white. I really like this effect with the bevel on the sides, kind of like we have down here. But this time it makes it look like it's, it kind of makes it looks like it's popped a little bit out. And uh, whereas Ezex uh, is really cool, it's, it's a, like a gradient right across and it cuts off halfway perfectly. Uh, right across. I don't know how to get this mirror effect. I would really like to know. I'll have to ask a graphics artist um, how exactly to do that on text. But uh, I have this, which I think looks really good. And as you can see, his isn't on a placeholder, but ours from last season was on a, um, a sort of rhombus shape uh, coming out of this design. And I kind of wanted something to hold the verses in place as well. So I decided to make a placeholder as well and this was one of the hardest things was getting the color right was getting the right uh the shape and everything and finally i decided on this diamond and uh this diamond is not too obstructive into the text uh in fact i could probably even flip this upside down uh whoops wrong thing that i'm flipping hold on a second guys uh transform flip vertical okay that's still not it where is my diamond okay there it is uh we're gonna edit transform and flip vertically so i could even do it like that but i don't think that looks as good actually i think this looks a lot better coming from the dark on the bottom to the light on the top because that's kind of what happens with the placeholder for the game so we're gonna keep it that way uh i really like it like this uh, the versus is just big enough it's not as big as ezex it's just a little bit smaller uh, but it's also more angular and <clears throat> like i said i like angular things and it's also um more a little wider and spaced out the verses on ezex is really close together and i didn't like that so much I, I like to have a little bit of space between my lettering um when it's this big so that you can actually distinguish it one from the other and it doesn't look like it's it's just been crammed together so that's what i decided to go with and what i wanted to work on after was um i i figured that there was a way to always have the logos about at the same level uh the one way would be to uh actually have a a predetermined PSD file, a Photoshop document uh, that has every team's logo in the exact same spot and then just alternate every week and uncheck and hide certain ones and uh, make certain ones visible every week. Uh, and I'm figuring that's how it's done. But uh, for this one, it's a lot more complicated, <coughs> excuse me, complicated because we have uh, 128 teams. So that's going to make it very difficult to uh to have everybody's logo on the same photoshop document so instead i designed these boxes and these boxes are the placeholders for the uh, logos themselves 
So they're the same height. They might not look at, uh, it might be my angle, but they are the same height. They're exact duplicates of each other. And uh, they're meant to hold the logos uh, within, as you can see, they are the same size. They're meant to hold the logos um, of each team on each side perfectly. Now you kind of have to adjust the logo yourself. And what you're gonna wanna do is when you get your own logo in here, you're gonna hide the box uh, on the uh, on the left side. You're gonna save it as a Photoshop document and uh, you're, you're gonna perpetually have yours in the same place for every match that you have and every match that you wanna upload. So that's the idea there. And uh, the one on the right side, of course, is for your opponent. So left side is yours, right side is, is your opponent's. So you always read left to right. So that was the idea. Uh, that's, that's always how it's been done. So that was that. Next up uh, over here, like I said before, the GBA logo is kind of just floating, but I didn't really like this. I didn't like the fact that it was just floating and it didn't have anything behind it. Now that might look good uh, for something that looks like a sports icon, but the GOT logo is more like a shield. It's, it's very different. So uh, as you can see, I'll just show, show you guys the GOT logo. Uh, there's a little bit of outer glow here and you can't really see it right now, but it is there and you'll see it when I show you what I decided to put behind here. Now initially I was going for like a triangular shape coming up from the top looking like it was kind of hanging because it is a shield but I thought uh, that doesn't look too good. I tried it with multiple shapes. Nothing was really working. By the way guys, I recorded a 50 minute, a 50 minute, 5 zero, uh, video of me actual, actually creating the thumbnail and um, my audio was never recording. So that's just a lesson to you guys. Make sure your audio is being recorded, uh, which it is right now. Yes, it is, beautiful. So uh, I ultimately decided I'm gonna find something on Google that works. Uh, that I can put behind here and it's gonna be the GOT logo placeholder and this is really nice this is like a, uh, a liquid gold uh, running behind it but it can also be looked at as a cloth and the GOT logo is kind of hung up on it so now you can s sort of start to see the outer glow over here around uh, where the gold is and it's, it's still hard to see but once we have a background for all of this then you'll be able to see it very clearly so uh, that's that's it for that part uh, next up, I wanted to work on these things over here. Now, Ezek made them semicircles, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Uh, not really semicircles, but they are circular. Uh, I really like more angular things. So, uh, I decided, like, <laughs> I've said it a million times already, but I decided to go with a straight edge with a gradient, kind of like we had last season. As you guys can see here, this kind of fades off over here, and you can see Latios's wing, and uh, you have the you can start to see a part of the image behind and that's kind of the effect that I wanted to go with again this season. So what I went and went with was I uh, made a, um, a triangle. So it's very similar to Ezex over here, but it's, it's a lot straighter. Uh, and the reason I wanted it to be straight is because when you create a gradient, it sort of makes it look like a curve. So if you start off with a curve right away and then you add a, uh, a gradient cut off and it fades away, then you end up with something that just looks way too curvy and it just doesn't work so you start with a straight edge and then you start to take away from the color and i did the same thing on the other side uh, as i'm about to show you guys as soon as i find it uh yeah there it is so i did the same thing on the bottom the bottom is a little more faded away just because you're not going to see it anyway behind the timestamp on the video um, when it's actually uploaded to YouTube beforehand you do but it doesn't matter as much at the bottom and I couldn't get it right on because it takes a lot of tinkering with so I decided to leave it with this because it still looked really good so uh, that was the uh, third to last thing that I did so so far so good looks really similar looks really good uh, very similar dimensions and everything and uh, I wanted to test out a couple of logos initially I used different people's logos, but for this one uh, for this video I'm going to use the champion and the runner-up of last season. Uh, we're gonna be using Johnny Risepool and uh, Ben uh, AKA shiny Sableye 17 and his Baltimore Rialus. Uh Johnny's changed logo since last season, but uh, this is what I ended up with So you have the logo over here the logo over here obviously doesn't look good with the boxes So we hide them away now This is something I wanted to do live uh, because I actually wanted to show you guys how to do this Because you might want to do this for your own logos when you're adding them onto the PSD so uh, you come to the logo over here on the right side and you double click and it opens up this pane. Mine opens up on the right side for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. So it opens up this pane. I'm on Johnny's right now, so I'm gonna leave Johnny's exposed over here on the left side. What you're gonna wanna do, uh, ignore what I just did there. Um, <laughs> I just reduced the opacity, you don't wanna do that. Uh, blending options, yeah, that's not something you wanna touch. So um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, is uncheck anything that's checked off, just to bring it back to, to neutral. And then at the bottom over here, you have drop shadow. 
And drop shadow is just shadowing. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you're going to want to put your pa opacity at about like 85. Just so that it's not too dark. Uh, pure black. Obviously, this is normally what you work with. And uh, you're going to want to distance it a little bit just to make it look like it's floating. And you're going to actually see the effect when we add in the background. So uh, you're going to adjust your angle as much as you want and um, really make it look nice. And what I like to do is make it when it's like this centered and symmetrical. I like to make the uh, the shadow on the uh, on the other logo uh, opposite to that of the first. So we're going to do the same thing over here to bends and we're going to come to the drop shadow and the uh, the angle is going to be roughly opposite, uh, maybe a little bit more distance just so that you can actually see it and there you go so now you have the drop shadows on both logos so it looks really nice um, and there's also drop shadow behind this uh, this diamond shape over here and I also believe behind this um, the placeholder for the GOT logo I made sure that there was drop shadow there so everything looks really good uh, it looks very similar to what we have here with the uh, the GBA just a lot more uh, a lot bigger um, logos and everything on it and there's also uh, more detail going into it, I, I feel anyway. Um, and finally, we have the background. So I had to make sure that this looked good, excuse me, with a background behind it. And uh, I just found an image, a uh, fan art, and this is something that I want to specify to you guys. Uh, if that's what you're going to be doing, if you're going to be using fan art, you can also use uh, like a screenshot of the actual game on Showdown and like tilt it. It's really cool. Uh, or you can use fan art and if you're going to use fan art and this was something that we stressed uh, stressed in the GPC this season Please link the artist in the description down below uh, Under your video so I'm gonna be doing that with uh, the art that I'm about to show you guys because it's within the video uh, So I'm gonna make sure to link uh, That artist to you so that if you like the art you can go and check it out and just for uh, plagiarism purposes Of course for copyright and stuff like that make sure to always link uh, whatever you use that's made by somebody else in the description of your videos uh, just not only to be safe but to be kind to other people so um, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you the uh, Charizard art that I have back here and this is what the final product looks like so as you can see the gradient comes through you can see part of the wings over here on the left and on the right uh, again the timestamp is gonna be here at the bottom right so that doesn't matter as much I really like the way the gold looked with uh, with Charizard's image uh, now we can try a different image altogether we can open up uh, different fan art that I have a folder for over here. We can take something like uh, I don't know Ente and it'll still look good and I'll show you guys It's gonna look really good. So we're gonna just hide this and we are going to this is how you uh, you open it in Photoshop You bring it over to here. I'm also gonna be linking this artist if I can find them uh, You bring it over to here and uh, you control T you adjust the size to make sure it fits to what you need and uh, for this specific uh, image I'm gonna have to actually transform it and flip it horizontally because there's more on the uh, on the right side now Than there is on the left side, which is gonna work as soon as we drag this under everything else And we put it at the bottommost layer now you see what it looks like it looks really nice so uh, regardless of the color of the image that you're using some things might not look great But we did use an image of Charizard that has a lot of red in it and it still looks good with the red So I'm really really looking forward to uh, to using this thumbnail. I think it looks excellent uh, Big shout outs to Ezek and the GBA for uh, for having a thumbnail very similar to this and uh, it looks amazing It's it's very comparable and uh, I love it. So this is what you guys are going to be using if you want to uh, Upload your videos. Uh, it's custom created for you. So you have something to uh, to use um, for anybody that doesn't really know how to make thumbnails or doesn't uh, isn't bothered to uh, to do it on their uh, on their own time, uh, this is something that I uh, I really enjoy doing uh, when it comes to YouTube is making thumbnails and make them look good. So uh, that's it. That's the one you're going to be using. Again, the link will be in the description to the artist to the GOT channel. If you guys please go subscribe, uh, that'd be very much appreciated. Uh, subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, for the actual thumbnail itself for the uh, Photoshop document I'm going to be linking that only on the uh, the sheet itself on the document for the GOT uh, I don't want everybody around using it. So 
Um, I mean, you you can, but uh, it's not really going to serve any purpose. So I'm just going to be linking it on the dock, so you guys can use it there, find it there, and uh, and download it. And like I said, I'm going to have six different versions, one for every uh, stage of the tournament. So the the group stage, and then uh, round of 64, 32, 16, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finally finals. So I might make it a little bit different for for finals. We'll see. Uh, it's probably going to stay about the same, but uh, I might add a little more pizzazz to it just so that you know that it's the finals. But yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, if you did enjoy this little uh, showcase of how I made the thumbnail, and uh, and if you like the thumbnail, if you enjoyed this video, the commentary, the fact that I'm using a green screen now, actually, forgot to mention that, but uh, I am playing around with it a little bit. I want to see how well it works, so I decided to... Uh, to bust it out for this video so you guys can actually see me on screen uh, I'm well I'm much more lit up now like my webcam before because of my lighting made it seem like my webcam was like 480p uh, at the very most but it's actually a 1080p camera and now you can really see it because of the lighting that I bought and the green screen the fact that I'm uh, not necessarily you don't see the background behind me either uh, it's really just what you see on your uh, well the the image uh, that the screen the screen recording basically uh, so this looks really good but yeah that guys again uh, if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like down below as always subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and again the GOT channel which is in the description down below and I will catch you guys later ciao